that up? There we go. Okay. Okay, guys, continuing on in my uh, quest of playing at least one of every one of these comps here as a play along. I have not played in this one, nor have I put it up on my channel. And uh, this here is called School of Bass. If you look into, as usual, I'll go through the information and stuff for you. Uh, you can use any tackle, so lures, baits, spinning tackle, casting tackle, that sort of thing. As well as um, <clears throat> no rod stand, of course. The winner is determined by the weight of captured bass or the total weight comp. Uh, and it is largemouth bass. You don't have to keep the fish to score, so it doesn't matter really if you have a stringer or a keep net. So always be sure that you look through these rules. I've made mistakes before in the past. Uh, hello Tony and hello John. Uh, now the rewards on this is uh, not overwhelming, but you know there's something in there I don't have is the three quarter ounce three o. That would be something fun uh, or something enjoyable to pick up for sure. Uh, now a lot of this other stuff you can get with the 30 day stays or other challenges uh, like the casting spoon or the uh, X series barbless nano spoon. And this is actually something I don't even really have marks for. I'm just gonna go in there and cast some lures. I did bring a bunch of small stuff. Uh, you know, these these don't get uniques here, uh, as well as this is just 30 minutes, and you are going for the largemouth bass. So, again, I'm going to put this up and uh, see how we do. Okay, and John did send me one mark, so we will have one mark. Now, if I end up catching a trophy and I have uh, any luck at all, uh, I'll share the mark. But this place is so small, I think if you just cast in a general area, but some of these things can also be technical. Maybe you have to cast a certain amount out. Again, I'm going in this blind. I have not played in this for myself as well. But I did bring, I took a bunch of my uh, big bass jigs out uh, that I'll have to dump back in. But I did put a little little work into it as far as rotating my stuff out. Uh, I also brought a small uh, float rod. Uh, and then I wanted to try maybe some shiners would probably make the most sense here. Uh, but I would assume large minnows would probably work as well. I probably could have brought shrimp, to be honest. Uh, but... Uh, but I'm just going to, I know there's drum there as well, so uh, I was trying not for too much interference. And, of course, the pike, uh, the pike might hit up hit on a 1-0 as well. I know they're just common here. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I think I'm probably going to start with a bass jig, maybe just uh, a blank bass jig with nothing on it, in other words, uh, just on a jig winner. So I do know that the regular ones will bounce off. So Richard's saying I used a number two bass jig with a worm and didn't do well. Okay. <laughs> well, that's why I'm thinking it's probably going to be like, because we're always wanting to pair stuff. My guess it's kind of like the spotted bass thing that you might be better off without. Uh, in other words, run your bass jig naked, so to speak. Maybe don't pair it. That's what I'm going to try, but I have no idea. Now, if there's anybody that knows this one specifically, then that means you either played this before you were level 30 or guys got like 17 accounts or something. So I'm getting ready to tell me when you're ready to go, John. Two, three, go. All right, we're in. I'm just going to go from spawn point to spawn point and see what happens. You could have had a bad bite rate. I don't know. I, I even though uh, like that 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 uh, burbot thing, I could have smashed that thing if they had given me a decent bite rate. Oh, I know they, were, but it is what it is. So actually, I don't want to start. Where's my bowfin spot? I'm going down here where I usually fish for bowfin guys because I know when I'm doing the big bowfin hunt, the bass over here won't leave me alone. I've caught plenty of rowdy bass, so I'm actually going over here to my bowfin spot and just see if I a get bowfin or I get bass. <laughs> I do know one thing about bass in general on the game, at least. Uh, majority of the time, they, they do like the middle on a lot of lakes or the lower. Uh, now, so you could probably do twitch or stop and go, I'm going to start with, uh, I'll, I'll stay with the bass jig for a while. I know this is not like the bass challenge, guys. You can use all kinds of lures. In other words, you're not stuck on, like, on the best five uh, or whatever, trying to use a bass jig or a certain lure, like a crawls and creatures sort of thing. So I'll try to do two casts with each color and go from there and see what happens. Again, with a lot of these wacky things, you don't ever know. It's hard to find a pattern sometimes, no matter what people might tell you. 
you will find that you do end up with either a good bite rate or a bad bite rate. You can do things to improve your score or make your score worse, but if the fish aren't biting, they aren't biting. As much as I want to just say that's just my own theory in my head, I've experienced enough of it now, over 400 comps, I know what I see. Let's hope we get a bite rate. I tried stop and go, I tried twitch, so now I will rotate out. I'm going to stick with bass jigs for a little bit and just see if uh, anything changes. And now, unless somebody's been practicing for this last month, there should be weird names at the top. So if I see a bunch of team names, you guys are definitely being tryhards going in and practicing in this. This was a beginner's competition, so if you advanced guys are already in here thrashing stuff, and I see a team one, two, three, you guys are putting way too much into the game. Uh, no offense, fellas. No offense, fellas. I'm just saying. I do remember catching a ton of bass over here. I might do I even have a bass mark? Is this drum? I might have a bass mark. No, I don't. That's a bowfin mark. That was young channel cat. That that was for an entirely different comp, y'all. That will not help you on the school bass. But I do know there's bass here. I'm gonna grind this spot for a little bit. And Richard is saying on Steam that the diehard guys are already on top of this comp. Why does that not surprise me? Did anybody try the X-Series 2.0 spinnerbait? Considering they give away the 3.0. I'm thinking about trying that. I think they would be at the mid. And to be honest, I don't even know how, how big do these trophies get? Four or five pounds, it looks like, on the leaderboard there. Okay, I did have a nibble. It's promising. Had another another miss. Yep, I'm on blue, but I'm probably gonna wish I had a one oh. It felt like that fish literally bounced off of it. And it did feel like a bass. Hey Kay. Hello. Okay, I'm, they're definitely after this. They're just not hitting it. So do I need to go down another silk size? You should think two would be all right. I mean, for crying out loud, if they get four pounds. Pretty sure when I did the recatch, I caught my bass over here, but I know they're down to the left as well. Does that mean I'll catch them? Probably not. As soon as I hit the stream button, my bite rate goes to zero. I 
I would think this lure would be enormous, but maybe not. We'll see. Okay, I do got a fish, but I don't know. It better not be a catfish. Okay, scoop and score. We did get a, I guess what you'd call a common largemouth. Off the spinner. And I was twitching. Definitely say this one's just not killing it or anything, so. Okay, guys, there's a nice size trophy. Uh, I'll throw a mark up for you, but to be honest for, with you, I'll throw it up briefly just to kind of show you where I casted. That did hit close, um, and I'm out of marks now. So my my bad on that, but I did just cast out there, guys. I'm out of marks, so I can't even put up a mark up for you. Uh, but, guys, these rocks over here are these these logs I just remember in the past. Now, I don't know Unicount respawn, or not Unicount, trophy count that sort of thing respawn who knows I, I don't see how there could be a respawn in a half hour thing so my guess is you might have one two trophies per spawn point probably just depend on where you cast them but i did notice um, both of those fish i caught they uh hit up close now it does appear i got another one uh, now if this is another trophy that'll be a good good sign It does feel, feel fairly healthy. And unfortunately, guys, I am out of markers completely. Uh, but there is two. I did get two there, so it wouldn't make sense to leave just yet. But I don't know the count, that sort of thing. But just around these logs should be a nice hot spot for you, it appears. I didn't remember that in the re-catch. And it appears the spinner bait 2.0 is definitely not too big or too small. The half ounce 2 -oh. Now, if you don't have um, this lure, I'm pretty sure this was a stay lure too, guys. So anybody looking to get this one, you could probably do a bass spinner. I think there's whites and yellows. I used to like the yellow one. And you can as well probably put a tail on it if you really wanted to. Uh, as well as you can pair like a bass worm or something like that. I'm just running it uh, by itself, as you can see, and it did pick up two trophies. It uh, probably makes sense from here to go ahead and go to another spawn point. So that's what I'm going to do. I know you can also catch these probably in through here 
Uh, over here is usually kind of like the same kind of a thing. There's bowfin as well over here. John, you seen where I was casting, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I will give this a good four or five cast, guys. I think you're, this is one of those ones you probably have to be really patient with as well. Yep. Okay, I did have a miss. I would assume a pike might hit this as well. I'm actually going to cast this a ways down there this time, down there by that grass. I would assume the spot has to hit up at some point. I might come over and cast the other way. Uh, the tackle box is full. Yep, yep. Twitch in the middle of the water is what they're saying. So I'm going to try to just hit this spot from here. I know I've caught him here in the past. You know, for a bass comp, I was expecting a quicker bite rate than this. Uh, I don't think you can gift rods and reels in Fishing Planet. Only thing I know that you can gift is like uh, fireworks, uh, that sort of thing. Now they're adding that new team thing at some point. I know you can gift bait and stuff, but uh, as of right now, no, you cannot gift rod and reels.
Yeah, that would be nice to be able to help people. So odd. I'm gonna cast this way and see what happens. This is a long cast, we'll see. We can cover a lot of ground over here, maybe. Again, I have never played in this one before, boys, and most of you probably have not either. I'm about to try that myself. I would say Shiners, John. 1-0. I think I got a bass finally. Caden, you'd probably have to Google it, man. I know Josh is trying to help you there, and I appreciate that, Josh. Uh, I think it comes with a keypad too. I would assume the Xbox might have something as well. You probably that's something you might have to Google, unless somebody in the chat knows if Xbox gives away that little package like the PlayStation does, that little starter pack. You're welcome, man. All right, just for test purposes, guys, I am going to put a shiner on, keep it fairly uh, shallow, uh, cast over, and just see if uh, if it's worth doing a float in this thing or not. This is just for test purposes. Again, I don't care about my personal rating, so I'm not trying to light up the leaderboard again. I think... What is that all that over there? Is that catfish? I'm, sure there's... I'm scared I'm going to hook into a catfish or something over here, but let's see if they're... Let's see if they're interwoven, guys. I'm going to try... Right over here and just let this float down a ways just to see if we get any action or not. My guess is uh, you could have a problem if you put the shiners on that you might pick up um, catfish or uh, catfish, bowfin, or pike even. But we'll see if uh, we get any action out of this. I'll give it a minute or two. Again, I think it'd probably be more fun to... Uh, Probably throw lures, but I just wanted to see for test purposes for putting this up on the channel if it actually does any good or not. I would assume you might even be able to, the pick roll might even interfere.
Trying to give it ample time just to see if anything hits it, fellas. Did get a bite. We'll see if it's a bass or not, though. My guess is there's going to be so many different things that would hit a shiner, but maybe. Again, now, if there's been teams that's practiced this since this thing's been released, or there's people that have double accounts, it's probably one of those that be kind of tough. I don't think this is a bass. If it is, it's probably a catfish. Yeah, that would be my guess. You're probably going to pick up. Nice trophy channel catfish anyway, though. Let me, uh... Let me go back down here real quick before I dismiss this. Do what, John? Do you think it has to do with that or the game just told you you're going to get a fish? <laughs> I'm running braid with floral of my two of my two trophies I caught, John. I don't think I don't think it's a mono thing. John was thinking that he was talking to me on the mic. I'm in a party with my friend John. He switched from fluoro to mono, but he don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to it. But I did catch uh, both of the trophy fish trophy bass I caught was on braid with a floral leer over the top of it. And I think this is probably also one that uh, if you did try running bait in, you're probably going to have to be site specific. In other words, uh, with so many different species in here that are going to hit a shiner, in my opinion, you're probably better off lure fishing unless you had specific marks um, to have for these things. So, But that's my thought process on the, on the bait. But I am trying to give it a little bit of a chance here just to see if it will pick up something else for you guys. I do remember getting a lot of rowdy bass over here in that St. Patty's Day thing, so I spawn over here just to see. If, but I know there's bowfin and catfish over here as well. We might have got a bass this time, maybe. Oh, a pickerel. That's what I assumed. Uh, yeah, see, for me, personally, unless you were to come here and research this thing, I probably wouldn't stick with uh, shiners unless you have those site-specific markers for that. And the Rainforest Journey Pack, good. It comes with Maku Maku. Uh, you know, I'm, to be honest, I haven't bought too many DLCs, uh, to, to comment on that, man, and that is not one that I've purchased. Uh, I think Josh, maybe, or somebody else in the chat, he's asking, uh, if that Rainforest pack's a good option, if somebody could help him out with that, if you have purchased it. I didn't want to tell him one way or the other whether it was good or bad, uh, because I have not purchased it myself. But Ma in general, Maku Maku is one of my least favorite lakes. So if that's the only one that it comes with, you might be disappointed in the lake itself. Kaden, what what level are you, bro? See you in the next one. All right, Tony. Thanks for stopping by, man. Okay, and John's saying he's doing well on the, uh, anybody that watches this back, the little mini bass jig, white 1.0, he's doing okay with it. I think it's 1.8 or 1.3 ounce. The 1.3 ounce white one.
I would have to look through the packs, Caden, to see you're at level 39. I just... I wouldn't recommend buying the one for Maku Maku because that's not a good leveling lake. Uh, no offense to Fishing Planet. That lake itself is not really good for leveling, in my opinion. So if you're looking to buy something and try to level up, def I definitely probably wouldn't do the Maku Maku. I would have to look through and see. Uh, if you could somehow get the syringe, maybe... Or look for some pond passes uh, somewhere else to go. Yep. I think, in other words, I think you'd probably be disappointed in the Maku Maku as far as trying to rank up in the game. It's not not very good for either money or or ranking. Now, Blue Crab's not, not a bad option. I can't remember what pack that is, but I would probably look through, if I were you, look through, uh, if you're wanting to do something cheaper, uh, look for a Pawn Pass and just make sure you got decent gear to get into it. If you could get a Pawn Pass at Solange or uh, one of those deals. Yeah, you're welcome. Like I said, uh, nothing against Fish and Planet. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by Fish and Planet, so I'll just give it to you straight. I, this Maku Maku is not one of my favorite likes as well, just for that fact that it's, other than doing the monster mission and a few competitions, it's just a little bit lackluster, so to speak. And it's only got Trophy Arapaima, Unique Perara, Arowana, uh, even the Catfish, uh, other than the small varieties, even the Gilded's only uh, in the trophy form, so you're not really going to get rich there off XP or cash. And the lake's not even really all that big. So there's not too much to explore. In other words, you could get bored fairly quick at Maku Maku. Yeah, that's a decent option to rank up. And I'll tell you what, Blue Crab is so large uh, that you can, you know, it'll take you a while to get burned out on that lake because it's so big and there's so many different fish, you know, tarpon, drum, snook, red drum, black drum. Uh, the, was it the big mouth buffalo, speckled peacock bass, largemouth bass, unique, uh, butterfly, um, yeah, flounder, uh, tarpon, you know, again, I've said that, but the tarpon for sure is a blast there, so. Okay, and I can tell you now, and the, the odd part in this one is I would expect to have a little, and I did stick with this lure for quite a while, but I got two trophies off of it, so it was kind of hard for me to rotate out. You've changed your mind. You have to wait for Fort Tony. All right. Yeah, guys, just kind of looking back at this one here. Like I said, there's really only the one place I've caught them, but that 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 cannot be. I know that for a fact they're over here, guys. And it, you know how these comps go. It could just be a one weird bite rate issue or something. But uh, yeah, I think that that hottest spot was there where those sticks are, where I caught those two trophies. So I know I didn't uh, light up the leaderboard in this, but at least I, I showed you one lure that did for sure work. Now, John is <clears throat> saying the uh, white white bass jig, one-third, one-o. Uh, you can get here at the shop as well. But, uh, again, uh, again, this is a kind of an amateur comp that's turned uh, into where everybody can play in it now. So I would assume uh, if you're looking to have, have fun, I would expect... Uh, a little better bite rate in this sort of thing, but it is what it is. We did end up getting two trophy bass out of that. Um, nothing, nothing spectacular, but uh, we did end up getting uh, the two misses that I have there. Keynote is I did try shiners on a float just for experimental purposes and kind of what I thought. Unless you had a, a nice bait mark for these things. Oh, actually, I did get three trophy. 
I know I got a young and two trophies. A young, a common, and two trophies. So it is what it is. But yeah, again, trying to use shiners or something in this would probably be a little more difficult unless you just had those site specific markers uh, that were set for bait. Uh, other than that, I would say, thanks, Tony. Uh, other than that, I would say just rotate and try to find another spot. And you could probably. You could probably get up there to 20, 24 pounds maybe in this if you if you went on a roll and this kind of uh, went from spawn point to spawn point and got you a couple more trophies. But uh, that's just kind of a middle of a run score. But uh, again, I'm gonna stop the stream on this so that I save this uh, on the channel uh, as the school of bass. And I'll the only two I have left to do uh, as far as labeling is crank the river. I will not let, put that on my channel until Fishing Planet fixes the glitch and the magic rock or whatever where everybody's glitching out and casting into the rock. And then the only other one that I have. Uh, to put up on my channel as far as labeling it. Uh, if I get to it tomorrow, I think it's this one. That's the only one I got to put up on the channel as labeling. Other than that, I've put one on my channel on the comp playlongs on the playlist. Uh, that's the only one I'm lacking is this one. Oh, you're welcome, man. But I'm going to stop the stream on this one here. And then I'll, I'm going to start up another stream. I'm just going to do some free fishing in between. And then I'm just going to put a comp grind up. Uh, we'll fish in this one next here in about an hour and a half, but I'm going to probably do some car carp fishing or something for fun. So, but I'm going to end the, end, end, hold on one second, John, please. And then I will fit, I will come back here briefly and, uh, just start up another one. So I appreciate you guys tuning in.